Lil Baby, My Turn, is the next album on this series called Lyrics Explained, where I break down the lyrics of your favorite music so that you can appreciate it even more. Now, I'm going to draw, as usual, on my six-year degree in graduate lyric appreciation from the University of Halifax in Nova Scotia, Canada to bring you this analysis. Guys, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, you might know Lil Baby is the little brother of the baby and the cousin of Bad Baby. So there's a lot of babies in their family, and Lil Baby is one of the hottest rappers in the game right now, who got a lot of exposure when he did a song with Drake called Yes Indeed that talked about when they were at lunch when they first met each other, and the waiter would come up, would you like to see the drink list? Would you like to an appetizer? And Drake was right there, yes indeed. Would you like to see our dessert tray, our dessert cart? There's Drake again. Yes, indeed. And that's what that song talks about. So that song and that album, Harder Than Ever in 2018, really kind of put Lil Baby on the map and he can continues to rise, guys. He's one of the biggest names in the game. So let's just jump right into it with track one, Get Ugly. Now, what is this song all about? Get Ugly talks about sometimes you got to just get right to the case and you can't worry about what people think. So sometimes you wake up in the morning and you have been sleeping on this side of your face all night. And now when you wake up and come down to breakfast, your face is smashed like this. But guys, Lil Baby is a champion. He makes things happen. He gets up in the morning and hits the ground running. It doesn't matter if he was sleeping on one side of the pillow with his face all smashed. As he says in the song, you got to move forward no matter the challenges you face, meaning sometimes you got to get ugly, especially when your face is all mashed like that from sleeping on the pillow and maybe even have a crick in your neck. But as Lil Baby says, you got to keep going. Now, number two on the track list is Heating Up. Now, this is with Gunna jumping in there to help with this song. Gunna, of course, also on a fast rising arc in the hip hop game. And Heating Up talks about their argument in the kitchen about using a cast iron pan because Lil Baby is known as a really good cook and he likes to season that pan and then put it on the grill. But Gunna likes to take the food and put it in this cast iron pan and then put the whole pan in the stove, in the oven. Now, the thing is, they're both right. That's the beauty of a cast iron pan. You can griddle and grill on top, or you can take the food, depending on how you want to do it, and broil or bake it. Now, number three on the track list is How. Now, this is an interesting song because a lot of people get stuck because they don't want to move forward with their life because they really don't know how. And what he's saying in this song is sometimes you just got to make a decision. And even if it's wrong, in fact, look forward to it being wrong because then you know that you are on the wrong track. You are moving forward by making wrong decisions. You're not worried about how. You'll figure out how because the things you try will be wrong. But the fear of failure in most people's minds is what blocks them from major achievement. And that's what he's trying to communicate there, guys. Now, number four, Grace with 42 Doug, another great tandem team effort. And Grace talks about a dog he used to have named Grace. Now, the thing about Grace is one day they bought an outside sleeping bed that had water jets that came up and around. So picture a kid's pool that's kind of flat, but then it has a ring where it has holes in the ring with water that's able to come up and over the dog. Well, the problem is their dog, Grace, loved it so much, wouldn't come inside. Because I don't know if you know, but Lil Baby's from Atlanta. And it gets humid in Atlanta, guys. And so now you have Grace outside on this dog sleeping bed that has the water feature. Grace would not come inside. Now, next on the track list is number five. Whoa, whoa. Now, the thing about Atlanta, if you've ever been in a cab 
It's like New York City. They drive unbelievably fast. There have been multiple videos on YouTube of Atlanta cabs that get up on two wheels. <laughs> and so you have not lived your life until you've been in a cab that's up on two wheels. And they'll set it down. like they're, They'll be going like this. And then they'll whomp. They'll bring it down. And then they'll see another opportunity between the lanes of traffic coming up. They'll get it up on these two wheels. It's unbelievable the cabs in Atlanta. You never have you're never going to have more fun in a cab and you will never be more terrified that you're about to die. Now number 6, live off my closet featuring future. This is an interesting trend among major pop and hip hop stars. They're starting to sell items out of their closet. Now People have done this before, and you might have seen even sports stars like LeBron James was selling his shoes. He's such a big guy. His shoes are so big, you could actually resell that shoe as a condominium, and you could sell it for big money no matter where you live. Number seven is same thing, and this goes back to another meal that he had with some producers and some uh, big-time hip-hop people in Atlanta. And they walked into his favorite restaurant, and the waiter called out, same thing. He's like, yo, same thing. He always has the same dish at this particular restaurant in Atlanta. Now, I'm fairly connected in the hip-hop world, and I know what this restaurant is. And I'm sorry I can't tell you what it is, because that would breach his privacy, and there'd be so many fans of this restaurant that he couldn't order the same thing. Why? Because there's 50,000 people out front. There's 45,000 people inside the restaurant sitting in each booth waiting for him. So then he would have to eat in the kitchen. And guess who storms into the kitchen from the back? More fans. And that's because he's a big star, but he just wants to eat his same meal. Guys, leave him alone. Give him some space. Next, we have track number eight, Emotionally Scarred. Wow, this is such a powerful song because we've all been through it. We've all been emotionally scarred. Have you ever tried to drop a 35-foot eagle putt that you were on the green and two on a 525-yard hole playing above your level? And if you don't drop that eagle putt, you're going to settle for a birdie. But if you drop it, you could get two under par on a par five that maybe you've never done in your life. And you get so nervous, what happens? You tense up, you miss that putt, and now you are emotionally scarred. What happens when you get to the top of your field? You're working with other people that are also at the top of that field. And it's indicated by so many collabs on this album. And of course, number nine is another example of that with Lil Uzi Vert, it's commercial. And what is so frustrating when you don't have access to Netflix or to a streaming service where there aren't commercials? And yet you're in a hotel room, perhaps you're somewhere where they only have broadcast TV. Well, what happens when you're watching regular, over-the-air, linear broadcast TV? Commercials every eight minutes. And that's what they're talking about. They're also referring back to their previous song because you watch too many commercials, which you have to because sometimes there aren't any other options. It makes your head want to explode and it could emotionally scar you. So he's tying one song to the other. Number 10 is another collab with none other than Lil Wayne. It's forever. This goes back to the early career of Lil Baby when he was just starting out. And he just needed a couple bucks to get a soup and sandwich at this little diner next to the recording studio. So he went to the recording studio head and he said, hey man, can you spot me a couple bucks so I can run across the street, get a soup and sandwich? And the guy said, yeah, but you'll have, you'll have to pay me in time. And he said, well, how much time do I have to pay you back? And he said, you've got forever. And he never forgot that, that the guy was basically saying, pay me back when you can. I know you're going to be a big star. And so you have forever. 
Now, number 11 on the track list is Can't Explain. Now, this is an interesting story because it goes back to when he was just a tween, like a 12, 13, 14-year-old, and his girlfriend at the time caught him at the mall, okay, just outside of Macy's, with a girl from another school. So she confronted them right outside the Macy's next to the Orange and Julius, next to the Spencer's Gifts right there, okay, right by the Sunglass Hut. And she said, what is going on, little baby? Who is this other girl? But he was very smooth. And he said to her, look, I'll bet you think I can't explain but this is my sister. Now, number 12 in the track list is No Sucker with Moneybag Yo. Have you ever gone to buy a car off a Craigslist? And you show up and the car is cherry. It is shiny. The chrome is gleaming. And then you get in the car and you shift it into drive to do a little test drive with the owner. And what happens? It kind of goes go, 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 go. You look over at the owner like, uh, is this car going to fall apart? We haven't but gone 25 feet out of your driveway onto the road. And the guy's like, oh, no, it's fine. It just needs to warm up. <laughs> Number 13 on the track list is some to prove, some to prove. And it talks about this insistence on the schools these days to teach new math. In the old days, they taught this old style of math. But what was good about it is it actually worked. And it was simple. And you could do simple calculations. The new math is supposed to make math more elastic in your mind so that students of today can start to think of math in a different way, a more creative way, and look at problems and challenges later on in their careers as engineers or anything in STEM. But sometimes you just want to add a few numbers so that you know what your rent is going to be and how much that is more than the money you have in the bank. All right, track number 14, another collab with Young Thug. The song, We Should, think about those times. It's a Saturday morning. You've been out with the boys. You've been out with the girls. It was ladies' night. It was boys' night out, whatever it was, or maybe just a regular Friday night. What happened? You stayed out all night, and eventually somebody says, so what are we doing? What are we doing today? Well, we should go roller skating. The roller skating rink opens up at uh, 2 p.m. We, sh we can slide right over there and do some roller skating. But everybody's so hungover, they're like, eh. No matter what suggestion is offered, it just is met with complete hungover indifference. And that's what that song's all about. All right, number 15 on the track list is Catch the Sun. This is a very interesting song because it talks about driving from Atlanta. Once he started to become a big star in Atlanta, what do people say in the music business? Even though Hot Atlanta is really the epicenter of hip-hop and rap today, still they say to him, little baby, you should head to L.A. And this is a song about driving from Atlanta through Texas and that period in Texas that everybody that has crossed that state on their way west or east, you know it takes seven or eight days just to get through Texas alone because the state takes up most of the southern states. The state of Texas is as large as all of the other southern states put together. Number 16 on the track list is consistent. And here he talks about a talk that he got from an older rapper early in his career. And the older rapper said, excellence is great, consistency is better. Now, what is he saying? Why does he get that advice? Well, so many people start a new initiative, a new project, a new career, a new idea, with lots of gusto and it's good they get the project done they get the work out there but then what happens they have to duplicate that effort because let's say it's a success what do people out there want they want more so now you have to produce it again but you used up all your energy on the first project is that you have to learn to pace yourself so that you can be consistent Consistency will win over peaks and valleys. 
Number 17 on the track list is Gang Signs, and this details his experience working for the Andrew Yang campaign during his bid, Andrew Yang's bid, to become the Democratic nominee for the presidential election of 2020. Of course, eventually Joe Biden got that slot. But it talks about Lil Baby's efforts and campaigning and going door to door and rapping on the street in an effort to raise money for the campaign. And it details how he might do his own campaign in the future, a la who else in the rap game is getting into politics. That's right, Kanye. And in this song, he talks about possibly as he gets older that he might make a run for the presidency himself. And that would be so fascinating to watch in the future. And he's so successful now, he might just do it. It'll be fun to watch. Now, number 18 on the track list is another great tune. It's Hurting. What is Hurting all about? And not H-U-R-T-I-N-G. We're talking H-U-R-T-I-N. It has a different meaning. It's kind of like in the South where there's a difference between the word naked and the word naked. Naked is a whole heck of a degree more naked than the word naked. So just along those lines, Hurtin, H-U-R-T-I-N, suggests a lot more pain and discomfort and regret possibly than H-U-R-T-I-N-G. Because if you are T-I-N-G hurting... That suggests an injury that you can fix with some acetaminophen, maybe some um, Advil. But if you are hurting H-U-R-T-I-N, you're talking about possibly, more than likely, affairs of the heart. Number 19 is another collab, this time with Rilo Rodriguez. Number 19 on the track list of the My Turn album by Lil Baby is, of course, Forget That. So this song, Forget That, talks about when he was a kid playing Monopoly with some of his friends in the neighborhood. And Monopoly can be a very long game. And there comes a point at which you realize you are going to lose. And in your child brain, sometimes it's too much to handle. Well, I don't know about you. But I've seen it many times in very tough Monopoly games. Somebody rears back and they go, forget that. And they knock the whole board into the air with pieces flying, hotels flying, all the... (laughs) All the money is fluttering to the ground. So number 20 on the track list is Solid. Now, this is a kind of a fun song because he talks about his friend from when he was in high school, who they called Solid. Why did they call him Solid? Because that was his answer on every question. Hey, hey man, how you doing? Solid. Hey, uh, what are you doing for lunch? Solid. Hey, if you want, we're going up to the mall after class and we're going to play foosball. Solid. Hey, uh, there's a girl in my history class that says she likes you. Do you want to meet her? Solid. So for every encounter, every question, every scenario, Solid, the person, answered the same way. Solid. And it created such an impression on a little baby. He decided to end my turn, this great, great album that is doing so well at the top of the charts. Now, just a quick bonus. If you bought the deluxe edition, there's one bonus track called Social Distancing. Now, you might think that it's referring to the current pandemic, but this song refers to an awkward time in his life where he just couldn't get it together with the ladies. And he talks about no matter who he asked out, no matter what he tried to do to get a date, to get somebody to hang out with them, they wouldn't do it. He was just an awkward tween. And we've all been through that. We've all been through that stage where we're just kind of a dork. And he was socially distanced through no fault of his own. Guys, that's it. I just went track by track through Lil Baby's My Turn, a monstrous selling top of the charts album that is catapulting him another ratchet higher. And there's no end in sight to see how far he can go. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Come on back. There's so much more music to talk about, lyrics to explain, giving you the behind-the-scenes context so that you can enjoy your music even more. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you then. Solid!